Okay guys, so we're at the airport in Muscat. This is what it looks like. Azan's got his mask on and he's doing pretty well. It's pretty empty. So it's uh, 7.45 in the evening and this is what it looks like. Here's our luggage here. Ready to go! Hello subscribers! In this video I wanted to capture the route that we took to travel home to the UK from our current country of work in Oman. I felt compelled to share my vlog and journey personally with you and take you on a bit of a journey with us for the fun of expanding some new horizons. Anyone who's travelled during the time of this pandemic knows that there are certain elements of stress and planet when it comes to following country guidelines that of course has been put in place to keep us all safe. However, we made the best of the challenges that faced us in getting home after not being able to see friends and family in the UK for about two years due to this global pandemic. We do hope that you enjoy watching the best bits of the journey we made together and we wish you a very happy summer yourself. Before the pandemic hit, I used to travel home to England every summer school holiday to see friends and family. This would usually be on a direct flight from Omar to London Heathrow. However, because the UK's current travel restrictions, British nationals like myself had to make the choice between flying into London and staying put in a designated quarantine hotel for 10 days or spending 10 days in a green or amber country before returning to England. Red list countries were those with high cases, amber cases were those with medium cases and green countries were those where the cases of COVID-19 were significantly lower. As I was travelling with my son Azan, who is currently three and a half, I knew we'd really struggle to stick out the 10 day room quarantine in a hotel. So what I did was I contacted a friend I had in Portugal which was on the amber list currently at the time when we flew which meant that when we arrived in England we'd still have to quarantine at our home address but luckily for us our family live on a farm so there's plenty of space to run about and still be with the immediate family. So spending 10 days in Portugal which was the amber country before getting back into England was the option that we went with. This is our first morning on the Quinta de Avora. What? How do we say it? Quinta de Avora. As he leave that stick, it's a bit. Big. I am a farmer. Are you? Yes. I this is the. Cow. Okay, keep your voice down. It's cow. Wow! Look at that sunrise. All the animals in here. Oh, chickens and horses and sheep. Oh, yeah, sheep. There's sheep down there because you can hear the bells. It's so fresh this morning as well. It's not hot. It's a house. It's a house. It's a house. There's a castle up there. Hmm? I love this house. Okay. Some little sheep down there. Wow. This is the house. This is where we are staying. That lovely rose. I've got to keep up with Azan. Has it? Don't know. I'm just going for an adventure. Here comes the rain. Beautiful. Let's just go out in this. It's amazing. After not seeing rain for so long. We see rain for the first time in Portugal. Look. That's exciting for us. 
can't even remember the last time we saw rain. <laughs> For anyone in the UK, I guess that's uh, nothing special, but we've been living in Oman, so there's not a lot of that. So it's lovely, very refreshing. And you can see all of the grass here is quite brown, so the plants are just gonna love it. Look at the sheep under there, getting shade. Shelter, should I say. There's the castle on top of the hill. This place is just stunning. There he's running in the sh running in the Kinta. Where's he going? Where are you going, As? Oh, how lovely. ringing of the bell is the sheep with bells around the neck. At first I thought there was a person down there, but it's actually the sheep so that the farmer can find them. Beautiful classic car here, Mercedes. Traditional tiles on the roof. Getting quite wet now. I wanted to acknowledge with respect all of those trying to get home to the UK during this time of the pandemic who have not had such an easy experience. And also to say that I chose deliberately not to put in too many negative experiences. So the negative experiences we did have was a very unwelcoming border control in Amsterdam, shouting hurry up to us as we stepped off the plane and to have our passport snatched from hand for checking. The judgmental look and comment from a Dutch passport inspector that Portugal may not accept us on arrival because of Brexit, and actually that was completely not the case at all. When we arrived to Lisbon, Portugal, they were extremely welcoming and there was no issues at all. There was also a hectic rush, of course, with a three-year-old in tow to ensure that you don't miss the next flight and keeping him entertained during the entire travel procedure wasn't easy. However, we made the best of what we had Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed the journey.